This section is all about the way Duchenne is inherited through the generations. We will also have sections on who carriers are and how the condition affects them. Genetically inherited conditions are complicated and often bring up difficult thoughts, emotions and feelings. Here at Action Duchenne, we advocate for those affected to talk to genetic counsellors where possible. We would also encourage you to always reach out and get in contact with our support team if you or someone you know could benefit from some guidance around this topic. Thank you. Um, so Sophia, we know that Duchenne muscular dystrophy is caused by changes in a single gene in our body. Um, and this single gene encodes for or holds the recipe for making a very important protein called dystrophin. Um, for the muscles and the, the dystrophin protein is very crucial for the functioning of muscles. Yes, absolutely, Maureen. So a single gene mutation in the dystrophin gene can cause Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And there are actually two causes of Duchenne. One is when it's inherited from a parent who is a DMD gene carrier, or it, it can also occur spontaneously, like a spontaneous mutation, which is also called a de, de novo mutation. Yes, that's true. And, and in fact, about one third of DMD cases um, occur in families who have no previous history of the condition. So no one in the family has ever heard of it. No one in the family is affected by it. And one third of, of the cases occur just randomly. And, and these are just literally what, what I just said. They are random, spontaneous genetic mutations or changes in the gene that makes the dystrophin protein. Um, and alternatively, there's, there's another way Duchenne is passed on, which is that it is passed on from someone who carries the mutation or is a carrier, um, um, and they carry the mutation on the X chromosome. Um, that is why the, the condition is called X-linked condition, because the, the actual um, gene for, uh, that holds a recipe for making dystrophin protein sits on the X chromosome. So any change that happens, happens on the X chromosome, it's called X-linked condition. But the again, going back to it, the second way it's passed on is if a carrier who holds the mutation passes it on to their offspring. Yeah, and you know, I was looking through different papers and I came across a study by Garcia et al. that was done and published in 2012. So they found that the de novo mutation, meaning the ones that are not inherited from the parents that are uh, spontaneously happening. So uh, these mutations happen in 16.7% po uh, po of affected males. The only thing is this study was done in Spain. So uh, these statistics, these numbers can vary depending on the country. But I think that is pretty much uh, the, the same across the different countries. It just was interesting to see these numbers because they have looked into the population, into the affected boils with Duchenne and got these numbers. Of course, it depends on the country because some countries are more developing in Duchenne care. They can look into, they can uh, are better at testing uh, the, the disease, at identifying the disease. Some maybe are less advanced, but we know that in the UK, it's the care for Duchenne boys is very advanced and we can get pretty good numbers at what's going on and what the situation about people is. Yeah. And the de novo mutations, they seem to be quite common in Duchenne and it, in Becker muscular dystrophy, which is the milder form of Duchenne. So they are fairly common as much as we've seen the condition being passed on from a carrier. We also do see it um, occur a lot in families who have no previous history of the condition. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, understanding the genetic cause of Duchenne muscular dystrophy and how mutations can occur spontaneously, it just provides valuable insights into the disease and its transmission. Well, it also emphasizes the importance of genetic counseling and testing for families that are affected by Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Yeah, certainly. And, and genetic research has come a long way in identifying um, the specific gene responsible for, responsible for Duchenne. Um, and, and of course, linking that to the associated protein, the dystrophin. Um, and we already know that dystrophin gene is the largest known gene in, 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 in the human body, and it is located on the X chromosome. So we know that how smart must these tools be, these genetic tools to be able to find that needle in the haystack, that little mutation that's having that effect in all the muscles of the body. Um, and yeah, that, that's quite crucial. And, and these tools, tools are very, very advanced.
Yeah, and mutations in the dystrophic gene, such as deletions, for example, and we know that deletions are the most common mutations that happen in dystrophin gene. They just uh, can lead to the development of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And these mutations, they disrupt the production of functional dystrophin protein, which is essential for maintaining healthy muscle function and for keeping it nice, firm and flexible. Yeah, and 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 you know, there are so many genes in our bodies that make us who we are. There's so many instruction manuals, you know, who are like telling our body, uh, you know, making us unique and, and, and individuals. But it's very fascinating how a single gene and its protein can have such a profound effect um, on, on, the, on the health of muscles. So how a change or in the dystrophin sort of gene um, can, can have um, a, a on the gene that encodes for dystrophin can have an impact on the in the muscles of the body, um, and understanding the genetics behind Duchenne opens doors to potential therapies and interventions, which is very important. Oh yes, absolutely. And you know, I must say that the science has done so many advances in the field of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but we just need to continue that this research and advancements in genetic knowledge because it is so crucial for developing. Tar uh, target treatments and improving genetic counseling and ultimately as well improving the lives of individuals and the families who are affected in du with Duchenne muscular dystrophy because we know that every year there are 100 boys who are born with Duchenne in the UK so 100 new families every year are affected by Duchenne muscular dystrophy that's why it's so important to make this advancement in science yeah I, I couldn't agree more and genetic discoveries hold immense potential for transforming the field of medicine and offering hope to to those impacted by genetic disorders like Duchenne muscular dystrophy and and it, and it is absolutely important to focus on that here at action Duchenne we are committed to inform but also support you through your Duchenne journey if you'd like to talk about anything raised in this video please feel free to contact us on 07535 498 or alternatively email us at info at actionduchenne.org thank you